Hello race fans and welcome to a video that in an ideal world I wouldn't be making but in light of recent tragedies I think this is a very good way of celebrating the life of a man who will go down in history as one of the great potential talents a humble guy off the track and a maverick competitor on it by now you've probably heard the news this morning that uh, Jules Bianchi finally lost his fight one he'd been fighting since the Japanese Grand Prix last year. He'd suffered horrific injuries. <clears throat> and I guess after all that time fighting and he never stopped, bless him. And I guess he fancied rolling with uh, Ayrton Senna and Roland Ratzenberger and James Hunt and all the greats who are up there. And I'll tell you what, I can tell you right now, he'll more than hold his own with that lot. Because his most famous moment in, in Formula One and in motorsport, you know, he'd come up through the ladders, he was a Ferrari protege. If they'd gone to three cars this year for 2015, Bianchi was earmarked for the third car. He could and maybe should have been a Ferrari driver this year. And who knows? <clears throat> but his greatest moment will be the 2014 Monaco Grand Prix, which will probably go down in history as the most famous ninth place finish in history. Because not only was that ninth place his first ever points in Formula 1, it was Marussia, his team, of course now Manor, it was their first and to this day only points in Formula 1. They were points that that team had no right to get the way they were running that season. They were not point scoring competitors. They were points that he had no right to get because he was just a young sophomore driver uh, on one of the weaker teams on the grid at Monaco. The pinnacle of Formula One, the toughest track on the calendar and that's where he puts in his best performance. What an amazing drive. He had to survive incredible attrition in that race. He pulled off some amazing overtakes on a track that people say it's impossible to overtake on. He disproved the naysayers spectacularly with a great run. And he actually finished P8 on the road. But uh, time penalty knocked him down to P9. Didn't matter. He still got points. His team still got points. And what should have been the first highlight reel on a succession of many through a glittering career will now become the thing that most people remember him most by. But he had his day in the sun. As David Bowie sang, we can all be heroes just for one day. He was a hero to many for more than just a day. But that was his great moment in the sun. And it's not fair that he won't get to have any more. But what this video is, is for <clears throat> is a movement that my friend here on YouTube, Harrison101HD, is also a colleague of mine on a Downforce Radio. He started the idea of the hot lap for the Henry Surtees Foundation. Now, the Henry Surtees Foundation was started uh, by John Surtees, the legendary uh, Formula 1 driver, after his son, Henry, uh, died of a tragic accident at Brands Hatch, my home circuit, where a, a tyre off of a crashed car came loose and struck him and his car. And that was it. And he was 18 at the time, which is... I'm not even going to say anymore. I'm getting something in my eyes as I speak. But the Henry Surtees Foundation was formed in his memory to provide education and training and assistance for people with brain and kind of physical kind of injuries, things like that, very much similar to what Bianchi suffered and what Michael Schumacher is still fighting with now. And he's providing education and training associated with motorsport related programs in technology, engineering, and road safety instruction for two and four wheels. It acts as a resource for young people up to the age of 18 by providing us advice and assistance and organizing programs of physical education and other activities to kind of advance young people in life. And it's a, it's a great thing. What a way to celebrate the life of a man who went away from us far too soon. But what a, what a great charity. And, and as I say, they deal with uh, kind of brain physical injuries caused by race accidents, caused by uh, car accidents, things like that. So it's very relevant in light of uh, uh, the, uh, the Jules Bianchi story. And uh, Harrison 101 HD has got a great idea, which I would really love to see take off. And I hope all of you guys at home who have any of the F1 games, I'm using F1 2013, he did F1 2015, it doesn't matter. As long as you have a game which has Jules Bianchi's car in it and Monaco circuit, you can do this challenge. And the challenge is set a hot lap at Monaco, driving as Jules Bianchi. You then post it to... Harrison 101 HD's video, you link it to him. I'll, the link is in the description below right there. And every video he sees, like this, he will donate to the Henry Surtees Foundation. And 
I love the guy to bits, but I want him to go bankrupt because he's had to donate that much to the Henry Surtees Foundation because he's seen so many of these videos. I want this to take off. I think this is a perfect way to celebrate JB17's life and legacy. And this is what he'll want. He'll want positivity going forward. The show will go on and he'll want it to go on. He'll want us all to enjoy racing going forward. I'm going to pledge to the Henry Surtees Foundation myself. I encourage you to do the same. At least share this video around, share his video around and get involved with the hot lap. For now, it's time for my one, I guess. As I say, the game doesn't matter. I'm on F1 2013, which was Bianchi's uh, rookie season in Formula 1. Now, right, should we do this then? Should we do it? I think we should. Probably going to do it top gear style. And we'll do five laps. And the best out of that, what we'll do. Because I'm rubbish at hot laps, mainly as you can tell. Let's go. I'm rusty at this track either. None of that matters. All that matters is maximum commitment. Just like JB. We are so far around for that. Emphasizes what a great job he did. He does emphasize what a great job he did. I'm finding it hard enough, and this is just hot laps. overtakes Serious, this is, ladies and gentlemen. I'm completely silent for it. Your tyres are getting too hot. Try to ease off. Joking? To cool them down. Ease off now. Not happening. Oh, don't. Oh. 
no, that's. Uh, do you know what? Your front wing's taken some slight damage. Stay out and let it cool. Yeah, you know what? I think that'll do. That'll do. Goodness me. I'm in a sweat already and I've only done some laps. I'm just going to park it over here. That's alright. And, uh. Well, thanks very much for watching, guys. Share this video around, get involved yourself. I want to see plenty of these hot laps. As I say, the game choice does not matter. It really doesn't. So get out there, get your hot laps done, get them video, get them up on here. Get Dre donating as much as possible to the Henry Sertley Foundation. If you've got any spare, do it and share this round. I want the internet alive with this by this evening. So I'll see you soon, Bombers. And uh, see you soon, Jewel Bianchi. We're missing you already.